into the video so just got back from the gym got in a nice weight workout which i haven't been able to do in a while because i've just been pretty much doing cardio and did a variety of exercises with a variety of rep ranges but i pretty much kept every exercise on three sets and i only used it at the beginning for a few minutes just to warm up but i showed that eco treadmill which is a really good workout tool actually i've used it before um, not too often but during this fight camp and for sprints if you run close to the front it hasn't got any power so you power it yourself with how fast you're going to run that's a really good workout if you ever want to mix up your cardio sessions but went through the supermarket on the way home so i'll show you what i got so we'll start at the more sensible end this is kind of the standard stuff that i buy just got some normal baking potatoes some veg so like the carrots the spinach green beans, been enjoying those recently, some cucumber, and then a bit of the fruit, just some blueberries and some medjool dates. And then in the meats, trying to keep it pretty lean, just got some chicken, 5% fat beef, some turkey bacon, and now we're moving on to some of the treats. We've got the breaded chicken nuggets, Ben and Jerry's blondie brownie core, cool, which absolutely is so much better than low calorie ice cream. You can't even compare it. Got some of this salmon crunch roll, which is very good. Sushi is absolutely one of my favorite foods. I haven't tried this before, but looks similar to some of the other crisps I've bought in the past. Aberdeen Angus beef. And yeah, I always like these kind of furrowed style. And then final little treat, is some of these stone bait shibata rolls just mixing up from getting like bagels or bread or sandwiches. Time for lunch now. Feeling pretty hungry as this morning I veered away from my normal everyday porridge bowl of peanut butter and fruit. I just had some shredded wheat bite size, which isn't as many calories, so definitely feeling the hunger now. I'll show you what I'm having. So we got the kind of standard side plate, got an absolute ton of orange pepper because the pepper was going out of date a little bit, so needs to get it eaten. Some of the crisps I showed earlier, some hummus to go with the side plate, and then the main event, the sushi with some soy sauce. But when I was picking out which sushi I wanted, they had a load of samples actually. So I already had four sushi rolls in the supermarket, which was like a mixture of crunchy cali, I think, a couple different veggie types, and a spicy salmon as well, which was really good. Right, so it's a little later on. It's actually just gone four o'clock, so I have to make an early dinner soon. But I just wanted to quickly run you through what has happened recently. So. Obviously the big thing is I had my fight on Saturday, it's Monday today, so two days removed. And unfortunately I lost a unanimous decision. The fight was held in Birmingham at the Edge Baston Cricket Stadium, which I think they have the ashes there and stuff. So it was a pretty cool venue, it was held in like a function room. It was a bit smaller than the Kettering show, so there was a lot of atmosphere which was good. But yeah, the locker room actually was really nice because it got to look out over the actual cricket ground itself. And the fight card was split up into three sections, I believe. So there was like an undercard, a Norwegian card, and then a main card. And I was kind of at the upper end of the Norwegian card. So I think I probably fought around half five or six. Um, obviously mine was a title fight as well. And yeah, there's not really that much to be said for the fight, to be honest. Obviously I'm disappointed that I lost, but I mean, from what I've seen of the footage and stuff, it effectively comes down to me being held on the cage for too long, um, which is, yeah, frustrating, but is a fixable problem in the future. And yeah, that was especially a problem in the first two rounds. So. It is what it is, in the words of Max Holiday there, or if you've ever seen Love Island where none of the boys gets picked in the first uh, episode and they all stand there and go, it is what it is. So anyway, I'll just play the fight for you guys now. Let me know what you think, and a massive thanks to my dad for recording the footage for me. <laughs> Yes, Alex! Oh, 
So we're in the process of cooking dinner currently. First up, well, I'm just kind of getting it all going. Although, actually, it's quite a simple meal. So getting it all going, like I'm cooking a roast dinner. Just going with some green beans and salt. So here's the final result, guys. Just some beef and rice. Very simple bit of the heat mix on there, too. And then on that, some of this barbecue sauce and mayonnaise. I tell you what, rice is so good. I do not miss being on the final weight cut week and having to be really, really low on carbs. Right, that hit the spot. And now for dessert, I'm gonna have some of this ice cream. So it's now about five o'clock. I'm gonna be going out in about half an hour's time, going to Gi Jiu Jitsu and then MMA after. It depends on the week because I'll either do that or I'll go to Muay Thai, but yeah, it just depends on a number of factors, including how I'm feeling on the day. But looking forward to that. It's going to be a very good session, I'm sure, and I'm just going to do drilling tonight. Normally when I go to a session, I miss out on the sparring or the rolling. What I'll do is I'll fit in some extra bag work as there's a bag room right next to the kind of matted area. But tonight I'm just going to do the drilling and take it easy. Those medical pills are push me over. now after training didn't manage to show everything that we did but thought I'd kind of show you a mixture of the techniques and the drills and now I'm gonna finish up this day with some food here's what I've ended up going for I've got a plain bagel with butter and marmalade handful of spinach two dates which I've already got rid of the pits out of and then I've got a little small handful of blueberries too anyway guys it's gonna do it for today thanks for watching please make sure to like the video and I'll see you in the next one